Alrighty, we're back for the third and hopefully the final video of, of the ancient etched Lemurians. And I want to do a little bit of recap before we get started. Um, I have uh, four crystals, five I'd like to show you real quick, and then we'll get re ready to show the new ones. I'm hoping to finish this in 30 to 40 minutes because it's a more surefire upload. But I wanted to show this one first. This one is not currently for sale. It may be for sale at some point. And there is someone who is interested in it if it should become for sale. But I don't know if she's mine to keep forever or mine to work with for a while. But for now, she is mine. She's 100% natural. She sings. She is not for sale. <laughs> She has rainbows and etching, but I just want to go ahead and show her because sometimes they call somebody so loudly that it, it makes up my mind for me. Um, she does have a little chip up here, but like I said, she's 100% natural. What makes this one super, super cool? Um, one, she's double terminated. Okay, so there's the base and they are full of rainbows. And two, she's got this beautiful long face, which is absolutely covered in, there's a rainbow, in trigons and record keepers. There's a huge trigon there. There's, look at, trigons are upside down triangles. So they're trigons and records. And I mean, the whole face is covered. And I get a very distinctly different energy working with this one. Um, a very deep peace and deep, deep stillness I get with this one. And like I say, I'm not sure if we have more work to do together or if I am just holding on to her because the I'm, I'm her placeholder until the right person comes. She's got beautiful lines. Or if she's mine. And that remains to be seen but because it is open to debate I'm going to at least show her so there's a, a record of that and um, we'll go from there I'll keep a waiting list if I'm not sure it's time yet still to part with her but she is just super cool um, she will be about I think 1400 again she is natural and unpolished and in good condition so um, anyway, that's that. The other catch up I wanted to do with you was I've done a little bit more extensive testing on these to see if they sing. But when I originally checked them, they were all under the tree and I took another crystal and I just went across them. Boom, 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 boom. And the ones that sang, I marked. But that will catch the really loud singers, but it doesn't catch the soft singers. So I want to catch up on a few that I've already shown you that sing. And we're back again to this double terminated that I showed now that she's been in all three videos. I showed her the first video. I showed her in the second video and made a correction about the tip being natural because it is. So she's double terminated. And if you hold them like this, okay, like any bell, you, you want to have minimal rainbows, minimal surface contact. When she was laying on the ground, she didn't sing. But if I hold her like this, she sings. Hear it? It's faint, and she has a sweet spot. And it's here, and I think up here. Yeah. Gently on the face. Gently anyway, but she doesn't sing much here. She sings more here toward the belly. So this one was in video number one and two, and she is 479, and I discounted her because she had a very slight ding in the tip. So that one sings, and thank you for the request to ask me if any of the other ones sang. And now from video number two, we have number 595 with all the cool little light. She sings really nice. You just in the super cool cave. Oh. <laughs> anyway, let me just hold her for you. 
Now I'm holding her with, when I can, with two fingers. This one's going to require three. But she sang pretty well. Let me find her sweet spot. There it is. So it's more here on the back. Not a lot, you know, it's it's still, she's got a plenty of clack up here, but she has a little bit of sing in the middle. Not a whole lot, though. Just one second, I need to put my phone in airplane mode here. Hope that doesn't drop you. Goody, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> now, the next one was in the last video, and she was also discounted to eight fifty for a ding in the top. And she also sings, and she sings pretty nicely. Again, I'm holding her with just three fingers here. Hear that? And she just flashed a rainbow right there too. She clacks on that, but she sings pretty well here. And she sings very nicely up around the face. So that one was 850. And those were the singers I found that I've already shown. Um, I'm, I'm really glad I checked the ones I'm going to show you, though, because I found one, two, three, four, five, or six of them that, that sing. And they're huge, so that's a big deal. And there's one more thing I want to show you, but I'm going to wait until we get going and just circle back a little bit. So let's start with the new ones here. And I'm gonna put this one under this piece so I can show you them together. So this is one that you haven't seen. Let me pull up my camera a little bit. And this is where we left off yesterday. This one also sings. And let's get a good look at her. She's got some lodolite in there and some calcite, it looks like. And is that a cat hair? Nope. That's just either inside or that's a fissure. She's polished. This one is 1277. She's polished barrel and face, like most of these. So a little rainbow there. It's got really nice etching on the front and pretty lines. Let's put a little more light on the subject here nice condition really graceful shape on this one and let's see, let's hear her let's see if she's a got a sweet spot just a second that's a clock there it is it's up on the face they don't all sing on the face either but that happens to be her sweet spot Hear the difference? She doesn't sing there, it's clack, clack. But that's got a tink, tink, okay? She doesn't ring like a bell, but she does sing a little, which is super cool. So that one is 1277. Next one, they're getting bigger and bigger. And this one I don't have marked as being a singer. Really deep etching on this one. And I'm going to light her up a little more for you. Big cubic etching on this one. A real grounded presence, huh? And she's a big chunky point. Chunky. And go all the way around. There's a rainbow. We're not going to be flashing rainbows like we were. There we go. <laughs> like yesterday, they were flashing all over the place. This one has rainbows all up and down. And there's another big one up at the top. Let's see if I can up near the face there. If you can see it, and she is thirteen twenty eight. Really nice bottom there with uh, calcite growth interference and and healing. And I don't know if this one's got root seal or not. I'm not seeing it but she certainly has a lot of rainbows underneath 
the surface. And I know there's another big one up at the top if I can catch it for you. Maybe not today. Oh, there's a look at there's a green one right there flashing. Real pretty. There it is. Just a little one, but it's really dark. In the right light, it'll be bigger. There's another one up here, a great big one that's got just incredible rainbows. So hopefully they'll she'll flash them. So that one is 1328. This next one sings. And I didn't have it marked. I thought I had found all the singers because, like I say, I just went tap, tap, tap. And I didn't really give them a fair shake. So this one has got really pretty etching. And look at the rainbow <laughs> right in there. And that's without any extra light. There's the extra light. Let's see if we bring that out a little more. It's just like a portal. It peeks right out from the etching. La I mean, you can practically hear this one, the language. It's just like really intense. Um, deep and bold, very tactile too. This one, I, you know, you, I would stamp this. It's really cool. I've actually made uh, porcelain impressions of some of them, some of my first ones to save because the etchings were just so important, you know, and just really profound. And they're sitting out in my shop. I haven't fired the kiln in a while, but they're out there. And there's a big rainbow up in here I'm trying to catch. And I'd like to show you the whole piece. Let me go ahead and spin the whole piece. I'll be careful and don't knock it against another one while I'm doing this. This one is 1333, and boy, is she throwing the rainbows. Let's go ahead and look at the base while we're here. It's like self-heal up there. And let's see here. Let me bring this up a tad. And have a look. That's that same one that we're seeing in the front. We're just seeing it from a different angle. And there's probably the same one again, just she shows it almost all the way around. She, I think from every side you can see that rainbow. And there were a few more, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch them. So she stands front ways like this, and her etching is on the, the, the side. And 1333 on that one. Now this one, this is one more I wanted to circle back. This one, if I show you this, you're going to think, you know, didn't I just show that one in the last video? So I put a little sticker on there, it says sister. This one was from the last video. So this is big sister, and this is little sister. And they have the same multi-terminated self-heal in the top and the same exposed calcite and the same shape, but they're um, big sister and little sister or mother daughter as the case may be. This one, the smaller is a bit more clear and a little bit more smoky, and I can see beautiful root seal in there, but we've already shown her. She was 825, but anyway, I wanted to show the sisters together. And then this one, what caught my eye first was the self heel on the bottom, because it's really beautiful. And there was a rainbow right there. And she is the big sister, so let's have a look. Same face and everything and all the little terminations inside. Nice lines on the side, some rainbows there. This one really nestles in my hand nice. Oops, and there's the root teal, same root teal too. And look, the same little calcite flowers inside. Really pretty rainbows. This one is 1444. She's, she's a lot bigger. Can 
cute little cave there. So that was that was the last one that I had to circle back and show you because that was just super cool. Next one. This one has a chloride phantom in it. Well, it's chloride. I don't know if it's making a phantom. It appears that it's making a phantom. And it also has really pretty rutile. I see black rutile and possibly black tourmaline. I, like, I'm not gonna swear to it. The, the rutile in these is so astonishing that, you know, it's hard until I get it tested, I really, can't know if this is just really thick, thick rutile or if it's actually tourmaline. My suspicion is rutile, but you know, that's just my suspicion, that's not a lab. That's pretty neat. So this one is the, has got the cream accents in the etching, the cool triangle there, a trigon. And the chlorite, let me see if I can light that up a little better for you, it's really pretty. There's gold and green chlorite in this one and some rainbows in the face and this one sings and this is actually under it looks like pie doesn't it there's a rainbow behind it too <laughs> looks like the pie symbol and it's the altus that like math so <laughs> And this is all polished on the back. She is 16, 17. Nice base. More rainbows all up and down. She's like glitter, rainbow glitter. That's a fun inclusion. And that is a beautiful calcite flower down there. It's just so unusual to have the inclusions that the mineral that creates growth interference is not usually included in the quartz. It's usually gone. So it's really fun with these to be able to actually have the calcite flowers inside and then have the etchings from the growth interference on the outside. It's, it's just the whole story and the energy too stays. So let's see how this one sings. This one's going to require four fingers. I, I should make myself a little holder or something. Okay, not there. Wow, look at this. Wait a minute. It's in you see see this triangle here, this trigon upside down triangle? Look at the look at the rutile here. There's another triangle upside down two upside down triangles right on the front face actually three because this is like a triangle within a triangle and then you've got that I, I actually I'm feeling that like in my solar plexus there's another one trying to be um there's a lot of energy there so wow okay so let's let's see where her sweet spot is she won't be a loud singer, but let's see. A little bit there, not much. And up here, quite a bit near the top there. It's a bit of a stretch, but it is there. right up in there, hear it? A little tink, right on that bright spot. That's the only sweet spot that I have found so far, and it's not super sweet, but it's there. So uh, this one, this one, look at here. You have a trigon, and a trigon within a trigon, and a pi symbol. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this one is 1617 and 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 I didn't choose those numbers to be funny either. So um something's going on really important with that one. I really I happen to like that one quite a bit. I like the chloride phantoms. It's super unusual. Um 
I had one other with a really nice chlorite phantom that just has found her forever home. Really special piece. And that's maybe why this one is talking to me because she's um, got the chlorite like her sister. No, anyway, this one, big and clear. Hardly any smoky. Looks like a little chlorite in there maybe. And deep etchings on the front. And she is 1669. Polished on all sides but the front. There's a rainbow up there. Self-healed base. A little bit frosty with some mineral on here. And let me put some more light on here just to see if we catch any rainbows before we move on with her. We're about 20 minutes in and I still have one, two, three, four, five big ones to show you. So I think we can finish this up in one video. She's got pretty lines on the front too. Yep, she's got the, the rainbows under the surface like the others. There's some other, another one. And that one's going in deep. Oops. And I'm wondering, oh, I'll bet it's this one. So we actually have six to show you. This one is the last of my of my new ones. This one that I just showed you, the clear one, is the last that you've not seen before. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six left that I have shown before. These are from um, a previous, two different previous groups, actually. This one I'm shocked that I still have. This is a beautiful twin. And she's quite long. But look at the symmetry. And there's golden healer. And she's full of rainbows. And I'm trying to see how many faces. Some of these have like one or two natural faces. Let me see this one. This one has one natural face for sure. And there's two natural faces. The new ones, they're pretty much polished all the way around, but these are my older ones and they were much more conservative. Um, this one is polished on the barrel on one side. This one sings. This side is all natural and there's golden healer there. This side is all natural and a beautiful rainbow down at the base, that's gonna wash it out. So this side is, is all natural, this side is natural, this side is natural. These are a little more um, expensive than the other ones because they are less polished. Um, the other ones are really nicely discounted for being because they're more highly polished. This one is natural. Look at the Lemurian lines all up the back of this one. And there's your golden healer. And so look at the rainbow. I think that's golden healer. If that's not iron, it's limonite. But limonite is iron based. So I'm still going to go with golden healer. I see it a lot. The side is completely natural. Look at beautiful lines. She is 1800 even. Look at the color here. This one is just so juicy. I'm like I say, I'm just shocked. Um, but that's it's, I, I'm not shocked, but I'm really surprised being a twin and, and with so much natural. But you know, when they call their people, they call their people. Let's see how she sings. Oh, she sings really well. Loud at the base. She probably sings all the way up. My hands are here. Okay. Louder. And let me try it this way. If I can get a less of a grip. Not a whole lot. That a little bit. Just a little bit. 
but she's she definitely got a nice little singing voice. More lines here. And one of these, and it's not this one. This one has beautiful rainbows because of the twin. But there's another one that has astonishing full-length rainbows. I hope I didn't miss it. So that one is 18. And the next one, and that one has been, been shown before. I will probably remove my old video <clears throat> from IGTV because so many of them are not available anymore that it's not nice to disappoint people. And it's a lot to watch to get to what's available if, you know, if it's not available. This one's already flashing rainbows. And this one sings. It's smeared, but I just put the tag on there today. This one's very long, too. I haven't been measuring them for you, but let's take a quick measure. When we're getting into the five pounders, um, the very last one weighs over 10 pounds. So we're getting into, into the big boys here. I'm going to put her so I can line this up. 10, 10 and a half inches. And as far as a weight goes, over four pounds. Okay. And she is, she's got a beautiful rainbow on the front here. But let's have an overview. So she's natural all on this barrel. Look at the calcite in here. Rainbows. Natural all on this barrel. Rutile. Looks like black, silver, and copper. I see three colors of rutile in there. The silver is quite rare. Black and gold. Gold is the most common and then black and then copper and then silver. Well, and then blue. I think blue and then silver are the most rare. Calcite growth interference here with etching. Pretty rainbows. All natural side. Beautiful. This one also all natural on the sides. Gorgeous imprint. This one is 2900. There's more etching. Heartbeat rainbow, another magenta rainbow, and lots of etching. All natural. And this side, beautiful rainbow, also all natural. So this one is polished. Whoa, do you see that? Wowie. This one is polished on the main face and the second face and this face. This one is natural. This one is natural. This one appears to be natural. Yep, there's a ding right there. So yes, this one is natural. This one is polished. And this main face is polished. So, you know, very partly polished. Like I said, these were much more, probably in better condition to start with, um, is why they were more conservatively polished but it's hard to say they were from a different group as well so this one is 2900 and she sings let's see what we got a little bit here a little bit nice on the face main face Right here, main face, is her softest, her best spot. Um, clack, clack, clack. 
there there's some another sweet spot just like people you've got to get to know them and the more intimately you get to know them the more wonderful traits and talents you find the more beautiful they get so 2900 on that big baby and I'm going to push these kind of up so I don't knock them when I pick up the big ones next one is another very large one and this one, I believe, is 100% natural. Yeah. This is one that, that we rescued from the polisher. They were set to be polished, and our gems and my uh, contact found them, <laughs> and we got them. Nice time link there. And you can see they're not pristine, okay? They're a little chippy, not bad, especially for something of this size and of this rarity. I'm not complaining. But there's a larger chip on the back, and I discounted for that. I didn't charge on this what I would charge for one that was pristine. That's almost an Isis, but not quite. Beautiful rainbows inside there. Really nice deep etching too. That's a cool mineral on the base still. This one has just had really minimal attention. And she's 3,500. She has a chip at the top. She's completely natural. I have a note here, rainbow. So this is the one with, the, oh, I see it. It's gonna be right all down here with the huge rainbow. And she sings really well. So here's what's going on with this one with the rainbow. This is actually, I believe, I see this with, with a lot of the Lemurians from this region. This is probably another crystal growing inside. And it's not perfectly formed enough to be considered like, you know, a, a manifestation. It didn't leave any phantoms. But you can see... The growth line is going all the way. See how it's like gel, okay? Sometimes you actually see facets, but it's not that fully formed. It's like gel, and it goes all the way up like this, and then it ends here, it terminates here. And it's possibly related to this piece here, you know, penetrating into the crystal. But it has large, vivid, rainbows there we're getting a glimpse in there and i don't know if this is going to catch them or wash them out looks like it's going to wash them out this afternoon they were just flashing everywhere to the point that i actually made a note on the crystal and that's a window to see it just catching a glimpse in there beautiful dark color But it's quite large. And you can see this one is natural all the way around. Really, really a, a very rare treat. And this is her, her chip, okay? This is a substantial chunk and it's on the face. And even for an ancient, you know, for any Lemurian, this is going to discount it. You know, even for an ancient, sometimes the, because they're so rare, it's like, you know. But I would not ask for this, what I would ask for a pristine one, which I also have. That's all natural. So this one is substantially discounted for that. And I don't have the original sticker. I don't know what her original price would be, but she's 35 now. And, you know, when I've written chip, it means I've taken that into account. There's another rainbow. So, that beautiful baby. And she's a good singer. 
look at that. Surprise, surprise. Oh, and it vibrates all in my hand. She's even got some ring and a crystal this size, you know, to actually ring. It's a pretty big deal. Next one, they're getting heavier and heavier. This one sings. This one is 4,200. It also has a chip that has been taken into account in her pricing and she is natural. In fact, I may have my little sticker. So this one is 42. Let me just look at my notes here. How much I took off. She was 44. I have her at 44, 44. So she was probably 44, 50 and I got cute. Um, so I took off 200 and change, 250 for the chip. This is interesting. Let me come down now and have a look a little bit closer. The etching here is really fun. It's almost a, a flower like the Leilani's, that pat, little pattern in there. And I sent the Leilani's off for testing, by the way, because I'm asking what's the inclusion and what is causing, what what geological process is causing the flowers to form oh my goodness look at there she still she self stands <laughs> look at this i did not know if i put her this way she can even self stand she's just too big for me to show you and show the etchings so you know if you wanted her straight up of course you could but but she angles and stands like a reclining point really really well like this so let's have a look at this lots of intricate etching the fine the fine kind rainbows Lemurian lines rainbow at the top so this one is another all natural one, I believe. There's a big rainbow in there. Let me zoom back out a little bit so I can just bring it here. And this would be a nice one. I have two that would make a really good charging plate, like for your tarot deck, because she will lay flat and you could put your deck or your jewelry or whatever flat on the surface or any other crystals that you wanted. Let's look at the tip of this one. There's some gorgeous rainbows in here. There's a veil right in the middle. It's just starting to catch. And she's a little chippy all around the tip, but she is 100% natural and unpolished. And definitely in good enough condition to leave as she is. Don't know what that is, some kind of a little inclusion. More rainbows, there's lots of rainbows here. This one sings. She's 4,200. She's a little chippy, so I've discounted for that. And she's 100% natural. And so let's see what she sounds like. Little voice down here. She sings all the way up. Little bit of sing here. Little bit of sing, little bit of clack, but definitely sings. Let's see how she does on this side. That goes like right through to my hand. So in the back, her sweet spot is here, but it vibrates like 
it feels like a loudspeaker hitting my my receiving hand. It's really pretty cool. So let me try and get you a picture of this one all at once because she's just so big. And like I said, she would she would stand in a pillow, um, but she also stands on her own and reclines, which is really what I would probably do had I known. Oh, she's got some root teal too. There's a root teal right there, black root teal. All righty, and she was 42. So we have two more, both 100% natural. We're looking at 40 minutes, but I'm gonna keep going and hope for the best. This one is another one I can't believe I still have. This is such a beauty queen. 100% natural and look. Um, let's give you an overview first. Rainbows, perfect terminations, pristine condition. I mean, like, no chips. She sings and she's 100% natural. And she's got, oh, did you look at the rainbows? She's lots of rainbows. And she's got a cute little cave in the base. So let me show you the rest of this crystal. This is the top. She has a cave that's all etched here. Look at the rainbows in here. I mean, this one is just so spectacular and she is buzzing in my hand. I wouldn't mind holding on to this one for quite a while, actually. I, I really, really enjoy this crystal. And look at the faces. Look how clean the faces are. And she's completely natural. She's even got Lemurian lines on the face. I can feel them, they're raised. She's got raised lines here as well calcite etchings all the way up and something I love is this this is like an inner this is a this is her inner Lemurian and this is like a second growth all right so it's like the the second growth got laid down like a jacket okay think think unity think dream code I <laughs> think celestial um but it got laid down like a jacket and then written on with the um, calcite. This one is loaded with flowers. But what I love is this super etchy, super frosty top. It feels like sandpaper. I have one that I've kept that it looked like a warrior. It was, a, it was just chunk, you know, like half gone. And the whole top was like this. And I'm, I'm a very tactile and kinesthetic person. And that just really speaks to me. So um, I like that, <laughs> but look at the look at the etching and the flowers in this one. I just can't even begin to show you. And if I light her up, you can see all the depth inside. But she's beautiful, smoky, with so many perfect flowers. This little cave and little little flake of calcite in there. And cave, cave. But I could just dive into this crystal like forever and ever. It's a gorgeous rainbow right there. So, let's see what she sounds like. She sings, but this is, you know, she's unpolished and her faces are pristine. Really, really beautiful condition. So, let's see what we got here. Let's see where her sweet spots are. There you go. Right there at the base.
nice up at the top. Oops, sorry. So she's got sweet spots, top and bottom, for sure, you know, at a minimum. Really beautiful etching. But this whole flower garden thing is just killing me. The flower garden and the rainbows and just so much, so much going on. So that one is forty-five ninety, and we have one more, and it's over ten pounds. So I'm going to stand up to grab this one. Yeah. Little sister back there. And this one, I really wish I would have had a metal stand made. She'll stand very nicely on a pillow. She displays much better standing up. Let me pull my phone up and see if I can get you a good view of this crystal. 100% natural. Her front face is in really good shape. She does have a chip in the back. She has Lemurian lines. She has a huge imprint. I mean, she had quite a friend here attached at some point. And what I love about this one, oh, look at the root tail, big, big piece of root tail here. What I love about this one though is really her forte is the back. She displays really nice standing up, but this one is a charging piece if you ever had one. Um, it's too long and flat and quite level. She tapers a little bit, but as far as jewelry or stones or decks of cards or whatever, she's a wonderful charging plate. Um, yeah, and she's she's feely. <laughs> she's very tactile. My brother used to say that when he was a baby. My little brother, when he would find fabric like velvet or something, he said it was feely. So I'm kind of stuck. Um, nice rainbow there. This is the chip, and, and it's been discounted. That's a little sharp there. So if she ends up being yours, be careful. Pretty rainbow in there, and it might be due to the fracture from the chip. But we'll take that. She's got great big letters. Like, you know, when you're learning to read in the first grade, she's got great big letters to make it very plain. Gorgeous Lemurian lines going all the way up. She is 8,900. And she has a chip. She's natural. And she sings. And she is over 10 pounds. So she's a very big girl. But she was a really cool twin. I mean, because this whole side here is imprinted, all right? From the base up and all the way to here. And I even know how these fit because I have a pair, if you saw my IGTV a while back, of the two that I had them on the table actually to, to uh, offered for sale to go individually. And at three in the morning, they called me out here and I started playing with them and, and they fit together and they both sang, but they fit together with a twist and a lock. And um, I actually had asked Jen if she had the other half of this one, but she didn't. So I don't know, but this one has a lot to teach about relationships and independence. That's a rainbow deep, deep, right in the heart, right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very colorful and it's big. Just the palest, I think, on the phone. And I wanted to give you a good look at her face. Because the front of her face is in very nice shape. And then, of course, the back has, you know, a substantial chip on it. And that's been taken into account, and she's still $8,900. So, <laughs> alrighty, and that is our video. So we'll be putting, I'll be putting this one up, and thank you very much.